Hey guys, on today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to update your iPad to the latest iOS. So let's just get started. Go right into your settings. Under your settings, you guys will see the very first option where you guys will see your name. Under there, you guys have iCloud. Under iCloud, you guys can make a backup right now. If you guys run out of gigs, just hook it up to your computer, use iTunes, which is a free program for both Mac and PC, and make a backup with that program, which allows you to do an unlimited gig amount. That way you guys don't have to worry about the gig limitation like you guys have in iCloud, which so it's only five gigs for free. With iTunes on your computer, it's unlimited, so don't worry about it. Anyways, once you guys have that done, go right here on your iPad. Under general, you guys will see your second option where it says software update. Under software update, you guys will see the latest iOS right now, 12.3.1. Let's just tap on download and install. Once you guys do that, it's gonna start downloading and then it's gonna actually install the update. So for some of you, you may see only install and that's okay. That means it already downloaded the update and it's ready to install. That just happens automatically sometimes or maybe you guys didn't even notice that you clicked on download for now, which happens a lot. If you guys don't see the update on your iPad, it might be because your iPad is not even compatible with iOS 12. So right here is a list of every single iPad that's compatible with iOS 12. If it's not on the list, sorry guys, you guys can't update your iPad to the latest iOS 12.3.1. How long will this update take? Well, it's really all about your Wi-Fi. How fast is your internet speed? If you guys have really slow internet, Sure, this could take 15 to 20 minutes just to download it. However, for most of you, you're only going to see about three minutes for downloading time and then installation time around five to seven minutes. So in total, at most, for most of you, once again, this will only take 10 to 15 minutes. Just make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. If you guys have even 100% of your battery all charged up, I would even then recommend hooking up to some electricity. That way you guys make sure that when it's doing the installation process, it will not turn off. Because if it does turn off by itself for some reason, makes that error, then you guys will have to restore it. If it turns off when it's downloading the actual update, it doesn't really matter. You can just restart the download process and then that's it. So it's no big deal if that happens when it's downloading, but when it's doing the installation process, it is very important that it does not turn off. So when it's done downloading and it's going to start the installation process, this iPad will turn off. It's going to restart. We're going to see a an Apple logo, a loading bar. Then again, we're going to see that an Apple logo and a loading bar again. So we're going to see that two times. We're going to restart a soft restart two times. And then it's going to ask us for a passcode. If you guys have a passcode in order to get you to your iPad and that's it. It's not going to ask you for your iCloud ID. I know a lot of people ask me about that and he won't for this really small update, it's not gonna do that. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.